Seven millimeter. Right there. And right here. Things right here are gonna pop off. I'll use a pry tool to get it. Same with the light switch bezel. So we can get to the other screws. There's one right there and there'll be another on the other side. Just got some little spring loaded clips. And there's that other screw. There's seven millimeter as well. There. And there. Tight spot, hard to film. So we'll put this down and we'll pull out the bezel around the cluster. I'm going to pop this out around here. These clips just kind of running along. Everything snaps together. Snap. Hard to hold the phone and film at the same time. Let's pause it here. All right, that final clip was just right here, like I knew it was. I just couldn't get it with the angle and hold the phone. Um, of course, uh, I had to put the tilt all the way down. I got the key in and turned so I can move the gear shift out of my way. <clears throat> I got my foot on the brake, of course. Don't be doing that without your foot on the brake. That'd be stupid. Uh, so now, gonna wiggle and squiggle it out of here all the way down the line we'll get it work it around this gear shift I can't do it and hold the phone at the same time as you know be right back you'll struggle to get this foam past the lip and the next struggle is getting that pulled out of there because you're you're hemmed in by again you're hemmed in by the uh knob here and this tab down here trying to get past everything here it is right here so patience and it'll come off i've had it off before so i know it'll come out all right success <laughs> but not without struggle nothing good comes without struggle in life i guess i had to actually remove this little bit right here from the back of the duck and it's on, it's got these little tabs here and here and on the bottom well just fell through but either way there's these tiny little tabs that click on right here see these things here just let raise them up and it slides right out Top and bottom. Not hard. Once I once I just uh, decided to go ahead and do it. I don't know why. The last time I did this, I didn't have that problem. But there you have it. Next stage. Let's remove black screws down in there. See a black screw down there. Another one right there. You got another one over here. Another one down there. So I'm gonna get on that next. I believe that's still the same seven millimeter. Let me uh, put the phone down, get on it, 
and uh, pull her out. All right, we have these stupid little gold screws all the way around. They're like five and a half millimeter or a Torx uh, something. I don't know. I didn't check. There's two on each side. Another one here and down here. And that's so I can disconnect, uh, slide out the little thing. It's got the, the selector. It's tied, tied in with a cable. Um, if it'll focus. Tied in with a uh, cable thing right there. And easiest way is to just, for me, is just take out those four screws and pop off this uh, front cover to it. And it'll make the whole thing slide out easier too. I'm a liar. There's another one. If it'll focus, there you go. Right there and on the opposite side. Up in there. Can't see it because it's dark. Well, maybe you can. There it is. Just for the focus. But it's in there. You'll see it. It's a gold screw. All right, well, this little bugger did not come out quietly. I'll tell you that. Because it's hung up. Now these two tabs hanging up on the bottom. <laughs> they don't make it easy. Now, this thing here should slide right off of there now. Squeeze a couple little tabs right here and right here. And that should unclip and be able to pull out. Well, you can't even see it. <laughs> okay, it's hard to film. Uh, you couldn't even see what I was pointing at. Uh, there's a little tab here. And if I can get to it, another tab here. So we're going to give those a little squeezies. Pop out that side. Pop out this side. Oh, great. You gotta love the cheap plastic. There we go. Something just snapped. Uh, nothing important, I'm sure. So there we go. Got that off. Now this whole thing will come out of there. Just shove this thing into into what would be park. Hold on a second. I ain't got enough hands. All right. Now that we're doing some good stuff here, you got three plugs over here. Push the little tabs and pull them out. And then you can hopefully slide the rest of this through the little opening. Okay, after lots of struggle, <laughs> finally gave birth to this behemoth. It's horrible getting these out on the 2002 Ford Windstar, if I didn't mention that earlier. Uh, from what I've seen on the internet, all I have to do to fix my gauges uh, is possibly re-sweat or reflow some solder on some pins. So I'll be taking this inside and disassembling and seeing what I can see. At this point, it can't get any worse. If I have no speedometer, no tachometer, the fuel gauge isn't uh, isn't accurate. The therm the temperature gauge isn't accurate. The only thing accurate on it is the uh, is the odometer so what harm can it do trying to fix it before buying another one uh real quick here let's see what what's in the hole in case you're interested in that you got the three clips that you push in little tabs spring clip there and you pull those out this is free these two little Spring clips is what I was dealing with right here. If you'll focus on it there. So you squeeze the front end and that opens up that little tang right there. And release that out of there. I forgot that was a separate or had to be had to take the cover off to get it out. So 